call the member for Walling Dilley. Thank you, Speaker. I speak in favour of the um, member for Wakehurst public interest debate. And what a good man Mr Egan is to bring this as his public debate. I think that's something that we all are a little proud of. Um, sadly, one woman is battered every nine seconds. And I would like to spend nine seconds of my time if we all think about one woman that's battered right now and in nine seconds there'll be another. Thank you. And if this isn't enough, there's always, as we know, the sexual and emotional violence that many people suffer. And it's not always as obvious as a black eye and is often very hidden. I still remember my daughter returning home after leaving one of her friend's place. And when she left, this friend was putting in a mouth guard and putting on multiple jumpers. And when my daughter questioned why, she knew that she was going to be beaten up that night. And she said if she put multiple jumpers on, the bruises wouldn't show so much. When I think about my specific area and I talk to the convener of the Camden Wallandilly Domestic Violence Committee, that wonderful and amazing Tanya Whitehouse, I'm horrified that the MacArthur Women's Domestic Violence Court Advocacy Service received the highest referrals in all of New South Wales from police for domestic violence incidents they attend every month. They are almost always the highest receiver of the serious threat matters, the women most at risk, also for the entire state. If we aren't the first, we're second or third, and it's not a very proud place to put ourselves. The statistics in MacArthur have never decreased, and there is not enough funding to cover their workload. They have extra workers funded through alternative means, not through government funding. This alternative funding is not ongoing, and the workload is horrendous, yet they never have a waiting list because they never turn anyone away. Somehow they manage. Other domestic violence services at some point throughout the year, and some on several occasions, will have a waiting list and won't accept ones, but the ones in MacArthur always find a space. In this house, it's really interesting being an independent, and I really don't want to particularly hear about the political parties. I know you've all worked hard on this before and what you've done before, but I look forward to working together for a solution. I think we all have that in our hearts. We can speak out, we can educate, but the most positive action we can take is to get those suffering, is to enhance the ability of these women into stable housing as just a start. And I agree, this is a wonderful, great public interest debate. Thank you.